So today, we are dominating our ladder with the newest 3.4 Elixir Super Fast Expo Rocket Cycle. It is currently being played by some of the best players in the world and has been exploding in popularity as everyone is rushing to try it out. With the triple wing condition of Rocket, Expo, and Archer Queen, you can maintain constant pressure or stack up on defense and wait to go all in on one opening. So let's jump in here and find out why everyone is using this deck. Whenever we see guards in a strategy with an ice beard, we always assume there's gonna be some variety of a guards ice beard strategy. I'm gonna go knight over here, right lane for the guards. Get, do I really wanna go? Ah, uh, no, let's not do it, Shane. Let's not do it. Whenever I play expo deck, I always play way more aggressive than I probably should. It's not really the greatest idea, but that's how I prefer the play style because the natural way of defending and just destroying is a little bit too slow for my preferences, but. We just destroy the guards. We have the archer going in. If I go expo right here, I can almost guarantee he goes in with the rocket for the expo. But the archer king goes in, destroys the guards as well as the ice bear. There's the rocket. Come on, expo. Get a bit of check damage done. Archer king, get some shots to the tower, please. Maybe one more. Two shots. There we go. With a 100 damage lead. So as long as we keep that rotation up, we should be good to go to get a bit of chip cycle done throughout the remainder of this battle. And slowly but surely, chip away at that tower, resulting in our indefinite victory. What does that even mean? Indefinite use eight? I don't know. Just trying to sound smart over here. Fire Spirit left. I'm going to get the Archer Queen down here for this princess. Should be able to get the destroy. I'm going to keep the Lock Spell, obviously, for his Goblin Barrel. And then potentially go in with a defensive. Oh, yeah. We're doing it, my friends. Defensive Expo. Defensive Cannon. Destroys the Knight. Where is your Goblin Barrel, buddy? Gabby. No Goblin Barrel. Okay. okay. I'm okay with that. There she goes. That's going to be a bit of a deeper barrel. Try to get a little bit sneaky on me. But we destroy all the Goblins. And then we follow with a slow Knight push left lane to eventually destroy that princess. Fire Spirit right lane to, to bail out the Lock Spell. I'm going to go an arch queen as well for this knight uh princess combination we got one more lock spell going down for this goblin barrel definitely going to go in with an expo right lane that forces out a rocket on his end then we have the archer queen going in knight here left lane for the archer queen there is the rocket she will get in here and destroy with this uh knight uh archer queen combo left side locks on now he's gonna go knight here for my archer queen there we go there we go already back to one more expo over here right side and then I don't think he's back to a... I don't think he's back to a rocket quite yet. He might be soon, but that's okay. Because we can slowly but surely outcycle his rocket rotation. Come on. Destroy. Destroy the Expo. I mean, no. Expo, you stay alive. Tesla, you get destroyed. Expo, get the Ice Grip now. Get that tower. Yes, sir. There we go. We got locked and loaded. And that's all we need is one Expo lock to indefinitely destroy. And we go. Lock spell here. Archer Queen turns around. Lost that tower. One shot. One more. One more, please. Yo. The Expo's still alive. Dude. How is it still busted? I mean, it's not really busted, but like, come on, Gabby. Good game, well played. <laughs> One half health expo is all you need to destroy basically a full health tower. Good game. Let's go Fire Spirit to start this battle off here. We do have a fast cycle, and the Fire Spirit is one of the most elixir efficient. Oh, nice little Zaspo there, buddy. <laughs> nice little Zaspo. The Fire Spirit, as, as I was saying, is one of the best ways of dealing damage to a tower and applying pressure for only one elixir. I'm going to go hard here with an expo left lane, and then I'll hopefully follow it up with a knight as well. I'm supposed to lock onto that tower. What does he got for that? Oh. I mean, that's a vibe. If we go Fire Spirit here, we can distract this Mighty Mighty with Skeleton right now. Should destroy it quite nicely. The Expo might finish this tower off. There is a Balloon right side of the arena. What do I want to do right now for this Balloon? If I go Archer Queen, does she destroy it or does she get destroyed? Does she destroy your or destroy ye? As long as our tower is not destroyed, we might be vibing. I think we're okay. A tower right lane will likely go down at some point in this battle, but I'm hoping to be able to defend the rest of this Lava Hound and then keep it alive and then potentially go in with an Expo and the counter push here, my friends. This might be a five and a half. His fireball's out of rotation. What if he have to block his Expo right now? You have an Archer Queen ability. Expo going in. Knight going down. Should protect your queen. Yes, my queen. Stay alive, please. <laughs> Let's go. Expo locks on. He's got no spells to destroy it. And that should be a two. Oh, no, 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 no. Mighty Miner, get out of here, my friend. I didn't invite you to the party. Skeleton's here, please. Distracts the Mighty Miner. Expo still locks on. I don't even know how the Mighty Miner is not even locked onto the Expo right there. Like, he's literally, his drill is touching the Expo, and for some reason, it's not targeting it. So now we gotta start building up a brick wall of defense, because honestly, with this kind of an Expo deck, you cannot go in for the three crown. It is not a three crown strategy. But the question is, how do we defend against Expo when the Archer Queen is literally our only air defense? That is the question, my friends. Let's go Archer Queen right here. He might go in with a balloon or just a fireball zap from an Archer Queen. Okay. Let's go skeletons here. 
Rocket is down right now, right lane. Should destroy the uh, Balloon quite nicely with the assistance of the Fire Spear. Ability right here, right lane for the Lava Helm. The thing is, as long as we don't lose, we can win. That's the that's the main dilemma right now, my friends. As long as we don't lose, we can win. So, not going down here. The Fireball destroy. Oh, he misses my tower? Yo! He missed my tower at the Fireball. Maybe that was intentional. I don't think it was, but dude... You can't do that. And the skeletons goes in. Let's go a rocket right here. Meow. Boom. <laughs> Uh, feels a little bit dirty right now, but you know what? Compared to like what, what the meta is right now, like the meta is just E-Giant Cycle and stuff like that. So is this truly dirty? Is this truly a dirty deck? If E-Giant Cycle is a thing right now, uh, is this truly classified as dirty right now? I don't know. Either way, uh, we have ourselves a fairly solid two crown victory against a Lava Loon. So here we see ourselves facing off against a Royal Ghost, which indicates, in my opinion, we're facing off either against Three Musketeers or against Pekka Bridge Bam. Do we see also in our uh, Magic Archery here? Oh, Electro Wizard. So it's most certainly going to be a Pekka strategy. Knight goes in. Do we see a Magic Archer right now? Do we see a Pekka in front? Does he go spicy with the Pekka in front? No, but we do see a Bandit. I really wanted to go Pekka right now. Uh, if you're asking why, because the reason is because. What? Where's your P.E.K.K.A? Where's your P.E.K.K.A? No P.E.K.K.A! Not quite yet, at least. Archer Queen destroys. Let's go cannon here defensively against this Battle Ram. We don't see a P.E.K.K.A, but we do see a Zaz Bell. The cannon should pull the Battle Ram away and destroy it. And then honestly, we can go in. Oh, what Archer Queen? How does the Archer Queen get one shot off to that tower, dude? What? What? That was insane. It was going to go Knight over here, left lane. There is one more Royal Ghost. I would go Rocket, but it's a negative three trade against the Royal Ghost. So hopefully, we can get a bit more electric value in the future against that Rocket on the, on the tower. Let's go Lock Spell here. Fire Spirit should jump over the river with an Archer Queen. The Fire Spirit can't jump over the river? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's your pack up? Pack up, pack up, pack up, right? Oh, it's just a fireball. Okay, let's go watch Queen Ability right now. Should go in and destroy. Get two shots to the bandit. Jumps onto a tower. If we go skeletons right here, let's go it up high. I know he's got Zespel hovering, but we destroyed the bandit either way. I think I had a feeling he would have went preemptive Zespel right here. But all we're really trying to, trying to do right now is just play pure defense and wait for the perfect opportunity to go in on offense to destroy his tower because all we need is really one expo to lock on which we should be able to destroy if we go an archer queen here and then lock back the battle ram it should honestly reset the charge ability that we go skeletons to destroy the pekka with an archer queen ability to protect against all the barbarians and the magic archer goes in hits the tower but the archer queen is still alive basically at full health destroys the band as well he wastes that spell on the archer queen which I find highly sus. Oh, and he's so angry, dude. Oh, no. Oh, my friend. Yo, if we go Expo up high here. Uh, that's, that's a bit too high, Shane. That's a bit too high, my friend. That is a bit too high there, bud. <laughs> Fireball here or Zespel? Let's go Knight right here. Yeah, see? Look what happens. Look what happens, Shane, when you use it too high. Now the Expo, like, Pekka lost on your Expo first. That's one tile too high, my friend. I mean, he wasted all of his elixir defending that, so I'm okay with it. But you can't do that. I get to use it too high. That's okay. You live and you learn and you try again next time. Let's go Archer Queen over here, left lane. He's going to go a Pekka for that or a Royal Ghost or a Battle Ram. That's actually a really good idea for him. But honestly, if we follow it up with a Skeleton Spit Push and we go a Rocket here, left lane for this Royal Ghost, we might actually miss it, but that's okay. Come on, Rocket. Go in there, please. It's not okay. It was not okay. <laughs> oh, it was not okay, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, how did I miss that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a terrible idea, Shane. But we can go Archer Queen here right lane for this battle ram. Fire Spirit this down. Hopefully get one knight down for this bandit. And the cannon card blocks the battle ram. And despite our terrible misplays, we are still dominating in this battle. The Royal Ghost gets denied right side of the arena. I want to go a... Oh, do I go Expo? No, let's just chill. Let's just chill. We're going to be pure rocket cycle the remainder of this battle. That is, this is going to be a long battle. I'm telling you right now. But we're going to be pure rocket cycle and win this game with only the rocket as a win condition. Uh, let's go cannon here for the uh, that. Nothing's for this. Oh, we retarget the, the magic archer there, dude. Yo. That's perfect, my friends. Come on. Don't die, please. I mean, the next boat did die, but that's okay. The knight goes in and destroys the battle ram. Something's going down for this. Archer going to right lane. Should destroy that. I'll just back here. Come on. Yes, sir. Look at the archer being right side, dude. Yo. The one archer queen did more damage than the, basically the rest of every entire battle here so far. We blocked the battle ram. Archer queen in the middle here. We go one more expo right lane. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go skeletons for the real ghost. Keep the archer queen alive a little bit longer. Let me go expo right side. He's prepared for the expo with a Pekka or a... Whatever that is. Come on, archer queen ability. Let's go. Fire Spirit here, please. Block it, block it, block it. Block the P.E.K.K.A. Block that P.E.K.K.A., my friend. Archer Queen. Yes. Expo destroyed. There is the bandit. Oh, he's so desperate. The law goes down. And that's a rocket. And that is GG's. <laughs> oh, 
I thought I was gonna be, dude. He's so sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this deck is disgusting. Literally, the Archer Queen locked on by herself and destroyed the entire tower right lane. And then we just finished it off with a little bit of Expo action. So we instantly see a Bandit over on the right lane, and this. <laughs> Oh, he's tired. Oh, no, sir. With the bandit and the goblin cage. If I go an archer queen here in the middle, what do y'all think he has as a response for this? We both destroy the bandit and then counter push left lane. Do we see? Do we think he's got Mega Knight? Dancian. Hey. Do we think we got a Mega Knight in there? I don't particularly know right now, but I got a feeling that he's spicy. Come on. Archer queen locks on. Don't shoot the goblin cage. Go to that tower. Don't shoot the piggies either. Go to the tower, please, my friend, Archer Queen. You had literally one job. Literally one job, Archer Queen, and you have failed me for the last time. At least you got one shot to that tower. Knight here for the uh, magic archer. Should destroy it quite nicely. And then honestly, maybe you didn't even need that log spell. But we're facing off against some variety of a bandit royal piggy deck. And we wasted our log spell, which means we got no response now for this bandit. But I'm gonna go cannon cart here, then a fire spirit to soak the dash of the bandit. Just gonna keep our cannon alive a little bit longer to hopefully prolong our available defenses. And there is the Mega Knight. I told you guys he had a Mega Knight in there. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I could smell it from a mile away. The Mega Knight coming in hot. I'm going to go a Archer Queen here, right side. Get our Knight ready to go to distract this Mega. Come on, Knight here. Let's go, boys. And let's go a Skeleton to the back. Love this all down. Should be able to destroy and decimate the Mega Knight. We distract one of the Piggies with the cannon. And now the Archer Queen is still alive, destroying the Mega Minion. Now, if I go in with a Knight right here, hypothetically, what is the best and worst case scenario of? this possible outcome. Let's go skeletons here. Archer Queen ability, please. <gasps> no! She was stunned. She couldn't do anything. But, interesting little Mega Knight deck. We still got damage lead. Fire for some chip, chip Psycho. Maybe a Lux Spell as well. What do you got for this? Just a Goblin Brawler in the middle, which doesn't even hit the, the Fire Spirit. I'm okay with that every day of the week. This Knight goes in front, distracts against the Abandoned, and now he's gonna start slow rolling a Mega Knight as well. Where's your Mega Knight? Oh, dude, get out of here. If I go oh, an no. Expo right now, right here, what do you think happens? It locks onto the Magic Archer. Should destroy it quite nicely. Then he's gonna go Mega Knight for our Archer Queen, or... No Mega Knight just gets literally destroyed by everything the Archer Queen has the power for. And then we block the bandit left side. The Arch the, the Expo is just destroying. Let's go cannon card up here with an Expo up front. Come on. We got Archer Queen right lane. We destroy that Goblin Brawler. This one turns around. Looks under the tower. Looks onto the tower. Yo, show him the power. My dear friend Expo. Mega Knight going in. Mega Knight getting distracted. The Electro Wizard does retarget my Expo onto his stuff. But honestly... I'm very much okay with that, because we're already back to one more Expo. Double Expo's locking on, and the tower goes down, my friend. Unfortunately, your trust was misplaced. Oh, no, dude. Get out of here with the Elixir Golem opening play. Oh, we are so dead. We are so dead. I'm going to go cannon up in this business. I want to get down to my rocket, ideally, as soon as we possibly can. Come on, Expo. I mean, Archer Queen, whatever you are. You're it's something. Get in there, shoot, please. Destroy the E-Giant. Whatever it is, the dragon. Whatever it is, just destroy everything, please. And now the E Dragon's dead. Knight going down. Where is your Elite Barbarians? I know you got Elite Barbarians in the Clash Pro. You are a pro at Clash Royale. We can only mean one possible thing that you have to have the Elite Burbs in your deck. Let's go Expo over here, right lane. Should get in and destroy that Knight quite nicely. What does he got for spells? We see an Elixir Golem here. If I go Archer Queen for this, Jazz. And then honestly, if we go. Uh, Lock Spell, maybe? Archbrook gets some value done. Lock Spell here for this. We keep the Archer Queen alive. We destroy the piggies. And then we get a one more Expo going in. Coming yeah, down hot. And now we can slowly but surely outcycle his Elixir Golems. Where's your Elite Barbarians? No. Just a baby dragon to sacrifice to the Archer Queen. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the Expo is locked on. And then where is this E-Dragon going to be coming from? We know he's going to go E-Dragon right now. Knight over this business. Skeleton behind it. That should be able to destroy with the tower and the knight and the skeleton going in. And the Expo is still locked on. And that tower goes down. Dude, literally what what card on my side of the arena just destroys his tower. But you know what? I have some massive respect right now for this Clash Pro player because he's still trying. He's going E-Dragon right side. Where is the layers? The Elixir Golem. Cannon goes left lane to pull the Eagle and back. And then I kind of want to go in with a Knight and an Archer Queen ability. Might be a five and a half. As long as we don't lose, we should be able to win here. We destroy the E-Dragon. We destroy the E-Golem. And we hold on to the one crown lead. Expo going down. Cannon going down. Where's your Battle Healer. The Archie is. Hello, Battle Healer. Welcome to the party, my friend. Oh, no. 
This might be a vibe. If we go rocket here. Boom. I mean, we destroyed a lot of stuff, but was it truly a vibe? You be the judge. Our token goes in the right lane with the ability. We go knight over here. Uh, skeleton as well. Pull the eagle away with my this. And then honestly, we might be in some trouble here, boys. With that battle healer being raged up, we might be in some trouble here right now. Ah, uh, never mind. We're good. <laughs> There's a reason why she's one of the worst cards in the game. <laughs> How do you think they should fix the eagle and the battle healer? Because here's the thing. They are both not very strong right now, but they're kind of like the electro giant. When they are good, they're extremely toxic and annoying. But when they aren't good, they're trash. So if you were the designer of Clash Royale and deleting those cards was not an option, how would you fix them to bring them back into the meta without making them annoying? Hello, good luck to you as well, my friend. Here's my fire spirit. Do you accept it? Oh, you do. Thank you. Thank you for missing your luck spell and accepting my delivery of the fire spirit. Oh, we've got a knight going in right lane. Oh, no. What are the chances he's got rocket? Very high. Very, very high. But I'm going to try and punish that down with an expo right here, boys and girls. Oh, that hit the knight as well? Yo. That is the ultimate betrayal, Clash Riel. How dare thee? Come on. Expo destroy? Yes, sir. Okay. So he's going to be using the minor Dark Prince Infernal Tower rocket deck that is not the most popular strategy, but it has been around for a fair long time. But we do have King Tower activation and a 600 damage lead. I'm going to use an Archer Queen up high. That way he can't rocket the down plus the tower. Keep the Knight for his minor blockage right here. Let's go. Thank you, Knight. And then Odyssey, I really want to go in Expo right now, but we know he's got a rocket and rotation, so we can't really do that. But the Archer Queen goes in, forces out an Infernal Tower or an Ice Skeleton or... Ooh. We got a log spell here. Archer Queen goes invisible. Oh, it's not a tower. Destroy the skeletons. Look at yeah, Archer Queen. Destroy the tower, please. Shoot, shoot the tower next time, Archer Queen. <sighs> you knob. Skeletons here, please. Want to go a fire spirit and a knight. And the skeletons turn around, destroy that knight. If I go an expo right here, he just goes rocket for it. So instead, what I want to do is I want to start slow rolling. See, if I go expo back here, he just goes rocket. If I go up here, he just goes rocket. So let's try and go a bit further high. And then maybe the make us one shot to that tower. I'm definitely happy with that knight spell. Thank you. Knight spell. <laughs> what is a knight spell? I'm over here making up new cards for Clash Royale. Hopefully they're not listening. Let's go. Ability right now. Bop, 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 bop. This is Skeletons versus Dark Prince. Oh, locks on. There we go. That's all I needed was a bit more chip damage. And now we can initiate rocket launch sequence. Let's go. Skeletons over here right side. There is the rocket. And now we go Expo as well with a Knight up front to block against the Infernal <laughs> Tower. Oh, he's got the Tesla version. Good game, buddy. Well played. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, the Expo locks on that tower. The lock spell knocks it just enough out of range that, oh, dude, that is juicy. You'll love to see. He does not, but we definitely do. That lock spell literally pushed the Dark Prince out of the expo range, thus allowing the expo to lock onto his tower. That wasn't even intentionally skillful. I accidentally just became a pro player in Clash Royale. <laughs> Purely by accident, we are now a pro player, and I have a new paid contract joining whichever CRL pro team player team will have me. Oh, what's, what's that you say? None of them? Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Nobody wants me. <laughs> but we're going to go in here. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Whenever they rocket log your king tower at the end, you know they're pretty upset. I mean, I don't think he is. Either way, just kind of messing around. Having some fun. Good game. Well played. And good luck in your future endeavors. But anyways, guys and girls, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. We shall see you all in the next one.